pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Chair? Mr. Chair? Yes, Commissioner. Are we three amigos this morning? Are the other two not coming, or what's the story? I haven't heard. Um, so at this point, in time, this is the time and place for the meeting. I guess we'll wait and see if they come. But for right now, we're going to move forward. Okay. Thank you, Madam okay. Auditor. Um, Today is Tuesday, June 14th, 2022. It's 830. Uh, happy Flag Day. Uh, routine business. You can see your reports in the share file. I need board action to approve the consent agenda items. Do I have a motion? Sir, may we approve the agenda? We, uh, yes, we can. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Uh, do I have a motion to approve the agenda? Also move. Second. Got a motion and second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. Commissioner Gibbon? Yes. Commissioner Schmidt? Yes. Commissioner Ahrens? Yes. Okay, thank you. We've got an agenda. Thank you, Sean, for the save. Uh, we've got a consent agenda. Uh, can I get a motion to approve the consent agenda? So move, Mr. Chair. Second. Got a motion and second to approve consent agenda. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. Commissioner Gibbon? Yes. Commissioner Schmidt? Yes. Commissioner Ahrens? Yes. Opportunity for public comment. I see there is some public here today. Would any of you uh, like to comment at this time? Okay, seeing none or hearing none, are there any commissioners who would like to make a report at this time? The uh, Marvitsky Airport, I believe that they're having a fly-in this Saturday, June 18th. Uh, I know uh, in the past they've done some things with uh, a pancake feed. I know they have some speakers lined up, so uh, would uh, obviously encourage those uh, <coughs> that are willing to uh, basically uh, um, have some time to go on out there and enjoy the uh, atmosphere and so forth. This Wednesday, we have a um, Southeast District meeting in Menno. And for the public, uh, what that's all about is uh, we have quarterly meetings when Count our commissioners and auditors and treasurers and register of deeds and sheriffs and highway departments get together on eight counties and discuss issues that are common to them and common to all of us. And uh, we have our state director comes down and gives us a report on such things as highways and legislation that is pending and things like that. So it's rather educational. We have some uh, times we have good attendance, and sometimes it's rather uh, rather spotty. But anyway, Wednesday we'll be meeting in Menno, South Dakota. Okay, thank you. Um, if there's no other reports, we'll move on to regular business. Uh, first item on the agenda is a public hearing to consider a petition to vacate uh, the highway. Sean, do you want to read that? This is a public hearing to consider a petition to vacate the following described highway. The west 36 feet, more or less, of said street lying adjacent to the north line of lot 6, block 2, and the south line of lot 4, block 4, both within the plat of the Meadow at Spring Creek edition, as filed in Book T of Platts, page 10. Okay. Are the petitioners present, and would they like to speak? Thank you, Mr. Chair. It's... Uh, <clears throat> my pleasure to be here on behalf of the Meadows at Spring Creek Road District. My name is A.J. Swanson. <clears throat> my address is 27452 482nd Avenue, uh, Canton. And I am an attorney and, and are, am representing uh, the Meadows today. The Meadows is a about a 20-plus-year-old uh, development. Uh, 
at the corner of four. My goodness, I shouldn't have done this without writing it down. Now at the corner of 481st and 106, County Highway 106, there are 26 homes uh, in the development. I believe the uh, development is, is fully established. There are no uh, vacant lots. And this effort is to vacate uh, the one through street that moves from east to west uh, called Meadow Lark Street. And the proposal is to vacate the westernmost 36 feet of that street. The, the streets in, meadow, in uh, the meadow have uh, been blacktop since shortly after uh, it was built out. In uh, 2020, the residents through their homeowners association and the road district, the road district being <coughs> the meadows at Spring Creek Road District formed in uh, 2008 or so. Uh, work together to totally rebuild the overlay or the blacktop on these roads. That was done in 2020 at uh, considerable expense. I think the expense was approaching 190000 uh, much of which with uh, borrowed money. And now that there is a development to be built, apparently, to, immediately to the west, uh, the property owners in the meadows would simply like to vacate that westernmost 36 feet of Meadowlark. Uh, that's an area that, it, while it's in the profile of a road, it has never itself been blacktopped, the western 36 feet. Nor was it blacktopped in the last work uh, 20 in 2020. Uh, one thing we did not put in our petition is that uh, the homeowners that abut Meadowlark, or at least the west 36 feet, that would be uh, Colin Adama, who is the president of the uh, road district. He's with me here today. Uh, he lives immediately to the south, and uh, a family by the name of Sweeter uh, lives immediately to the north. And they have executed quit claim deeds to the vacated portion uh, or the, the area proposed for vacation. Those quit claim deeds would run in favor of the road district itself so that <clears throat> the road profile would be preserved for eventual uh, occupation or use by the road authority uh, uh, at some point should it prove to be essential. Uh, that's about all I really need to say. I believe at this point this is done for purposes of, uh, of uh, cutting down on uh, more traffic that would move through the development should there be uh, construction uh, further to the west. And that's the reason this petition is brought. Are there any questions? AJ, so we understand, is that the property 47975? Are those the properties in question? Yes. And four seven nine seven. Nine. Well, I'm showing it would be two seven one twenty one okay. Prairie, Prairie Prairie View Prairie. Avenue would okay. be the north property. That's the sweeter. Yep. They they basically just have a kissing corner with the west thirty six yep. feet. It's not truly abutting. It uh, more abuts the property to the. Uh, west, I guess, because there's a little dog leg area there. I don't know why it was platted that way, but that's the way it was platted. Okay. So the Ottomans to the south and the Sweeters to the north have executed <coughs> quick claim deeds. We're not prepared to file those yet today because I need uh, certificates of real estate value and, and so forth. Okay. And a check, of course, to cover the filing fee. Again, how many properties does this affect? Well, it, it directly affects uh, two, two, the Sweeter property and the Ottawa property. Um, uh, the, and, and I base that, the quick claim deed uh, being appropriate based on the statute uh, 11.317, I believe it is, which basically says when a, va when a platted street is vacated, 
the abutting properties are entitled to enclose the vacated area of the street. And so rather than uh, uh, carry on some pretense that uh, the owners wish to have it vacated so they can enlarge their yard is not the case. The, the road district will be the owner of the, of the right of way. AJ, how many uh, of the residents signed the petition to vacate? You know, I, 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 I did submit the petition. Uh, there were 26 homes, and I believe 22 of them signed. So it wasn't 100%, but um, I think we hit 90%. And I think that's all that's required as a majority under 11-3, if I'm not mistaken. I think you only need two people, don't you? Well, to initiate the petition, right. yes. Yeah. But I think my point is 90% of the people signed the petition, and it shows that the community there's community support for the action, correct? Yes. Okay. Are there any other uh, questions or comments for Mr. Swanson? Okay. Thank you, Thank Mr. You. Swanson. Thank you, AJ. Uh, Thank you. This is a public hearing. Is there anyone who would like to speak in favor of the action? Colin Adama, 47975 Metal Arc Street. Um, I'd like to stand in support of this petition. So as the HOA Road District and President of the Meadows, I represent those uh, 26 homeowners, 22 of which signed um, in support of this, as well as being a resident of Lincoln County and this area. Um, this petition, I think, is a win for all of us as it maintains the safety of our private streets and allows the residents to walk, bike, travel to and from their homes without the unwanted through traffic coming through and um, keeping that to the outside arterial streets. Um, it also protects the investment that our HO has made to their private road and maintenance of that. Um, this petition also helps keep the identity and safety of the surrounding area intact. There are numerous individual HOAs that exist side by side um, without any road connections between them, always connecting out to the artery. So that is kind of the status quo. So it's, I think, a f win for the future neighborhood to the west as well, as they'll see their local traffic, much like the rest of us, and establish their HOA in the future and a road district. I, I presume that is in the plans. Um, I think the emergency and 911 safety is also a non-issue in terms of safety. Um, as again, this is kind of the norm for the area. There's lots of circles always cutting out um, as there is, has existed for 20 years. Um, and right now it ends in an alfalfa field, so nothing really comes from that direction now. So for our immediate safety, um, it's really a non-issue there. So um, once the finalized plans of the new development are vetted and completed, um, I think it'll be an even more of a non-issue as their uh, new neighborhood will has just recently been rezoned and would all line up with this exit. They'll rearrange theirs and uh, they'll be in good shape there as well. So um, one option I just wanted to mention too that if this were to be approved, we would be working with that developer. Um, there was some suggestions of maybe a non-vehicular connection there, which would make sense. Um, so there would be even more safe walking for kids, bikes, those kind of things, just not having traffic shooting straight down that runway, essentially, that's going to run parallel to 271. Because we know 271 is busier and busier, and we just like to keep the traffic out there. So I'd like to thank, uh, in closing here real quick, Toby and Planning and Zoning for suggesting this. Um, he brought this up in one of our roundtables as we were working through from last summer till now with the new development. So you guys have heard about this before, um, I think back in May and before too. Um, also thank AJ for helping us through and as well as Commissioner Aarons for his just suggestions there. So appreciate the discussions and time. Uh, look forward to your votes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Adama. Is there anyone else who would like to speak in favor of the petition? Okay, seeing none, is there anybody who would like to speak in opposition to the petition? Okay, seeing none, I'll now close the floor to testimony and open up the petition for action by the commissioners. Mr. Chair? Yes. I would vote for the approval of the abandonment of this uh, particular road or street that is in question. We've got a motion to grant the petition. Is there a second? I'll second it. 
Got a motion and second to grant the petition. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. Commissioner Gibbon? Yes. Commissioner Schmidt? Yes. Commissioner Aarons? Yes. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, next issue, got a fireworks uh, permit to uh, discuss, Mr. Timmerman. Good morning, commissioners. Um, this is an annual uh, permit that's filed by Mr. Mark Foster up in Lincoln Lakes. Mm -hmm. He is uh, very careful about how he does things. And at this point in time, we have no uh, big uh, concern about fire danger because uh, we've had plenty of rain and so forth. If we do have conditions change before he would do his fireworks, uh, I ask him to have some people on site that can control things namely Harrisburg Fire, coordinate with the fire chief there and um, Mr. Foster so they can make arrangements to have suppression on site if they need it. Other than that, it should be a normal application and shouldn't uh, have an issue with being approved. Any questions you might have for me? How many years has he done this, Harold? Oh, it's been several. I don't yeah. know the exact number. Quite a few. Yeah. So he, well, there has been some times when there's been a big concern about uh, fire danger, and uh, we've addressed those with him, and he's willing to comply with our suggestions and so forth. When will he let you know if it's July 1st or 2nd? I don't know that he will. It's one of those two, okay. two dates. You know, it doesn't matter a whole lot which one it is. And uh, like I said, if we do have a concern about fire and that sort of thing, We'll coordinate with Harrisburg Fire and they'll bring like uh, maybe a type six grass fighting unit out there, so. Thank you, Harold. Appreciate okay. it. You is bet. there, uh, is, uh, would anybody like to make a motion on the? Uh, I'll move to grant the application for the fireworks uh, display. Got a motion to grant, is there a second? I'll second it. Got a motion and second to grant the permit. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. Commissioner Gibbon? Yes. Commissioner Schmidt? Yes. Commissioner Aarons? Yes. Thank you. Good morning. I have uh, two items before you this morning. Uh, first action is uh, board action on. Uh, uh, Joint powers agreement with Dakota Steel and Trim uh, for doing some base stabilization on three miles of County Gravel Road. Uh, I think this is something I brought before you before. Um, so uh, I know that uh, Leonard got a hold of me, Leonard Deckard had, and uh, said to move forward with this. So uh, I had the state's attorney draw up the, uh, the agreement and they got it signed. So just looking for you guys' approval on this. Uh, again, he's going to be doing a 30% cost share on this project. So um, total cost, we should be around 90000 so he'll have about $30,000, and we'll have nine, sixty to pay. So, Isn't that something also that was in question by some of the landowners around there from the amount of transportation or trucks that were coming and going, and he agreed to this, you know, so. Yeah, this is something that he had brought up to me. <clears throat> yeah. uh, he came forth to me to, to wanting to do, I think this is back when he was trying to do a rezone on some property. Yeah, on some. Uh, um, so, but he, and then even after uh, that failed or he pulled his uh, application for that, he came to me and said that he still wanted to move forward with it, so. Would that be done yet this year, Terry? Yeah, in fact, if we get it signed today, uh, I can let the contractor know, because uh, I believe he'll be uh, moving back in on Thursday this week. Uh, he's got a couple of township, a couple of miles for a township to do, and then he'll be doing us. So, should probably be next week, maybe. Okay. Are you looking for a motion today? Yes. Well, I'll I'll need uh, I'll need the board to I'll need the approval and um, the uh, chair to execute the agreement. So I have an agreement for you. It's in the packet. Ready. So I'll entertain a motion, Mr. Chair, if you're asking for one. Yep. I'll second. Got a motion and second to approve the cost share agreement between Lincoln County and Dakota Steel and Trim. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. Commissioner Gibbon. Yes. 
Commissioner Schmidt. Yes. Commissioner Aarons. Yes. Thank you, Terry. Uh, next item I have is uh, looking for approval to uh, purchase a laptop with software for um, truck and equipment diagnostics. Um, so I guess the reason that we're looking to do this, um, a lot of times, you know, with all these newer vehicles and equipment, uh, you have codes that come up, um, engine codes, whether it's engine braking uh, and such. Um, and every time a code comes up, we've got to bring it up to the dealer to have them um, either clear the code or find out what's wrong with it. And sometimes that's, that means bringing a truck up three times before they can actually, the code is actually stuck in there um, enough to where they can read that there's an issue. So uh, what this will do is this is going to help us to do more diagnostics in-house and uh, um, hopefully be less, bringing less of it up to um, the, uh, the dealers to have work done. So uh, the price on this is uh, $6,420.40. Um, and again, that comes with the laptop. It comes with all the, the uh, cords. Uh, and it's also in a, a, a three-year warranty on the battery on the laptop. Um, so I guess one thing I did not put on here is, is there is a yearly fee. But again, you know, I think it's $1,900 or something like that um, to keep this updated you know, in the system because they're adding equipment, adding, um, adding things into the system all the time. So they'd keep us updated on all the, the, the issues that would, would, would come about with other equipment and stuff. So um, I guess I'm looking today for, you know, since this is over $5,000, uh, I'll be looking for approval to make this purchase. I should say that I, I, I did get pre-approved from IT um, since it is uh, computer stuff and, and, you know, they're all right with it, so. Is there a local dealership or representation? I mean, I know this is a company out of North Carolina. Yeah, so I, I don't know if there's a local, but this is the local salesman uh, that got a hold of us or that we got a hold of through through somebody else, that a guy out there, one of the mechanic guys out the shop knows. Um, and again, you know, I get, we're just trying to, to do more of the stuff in-house, you know, because eventually when I get to hire a mechanic back, um, that person is, is going to be using this all the time. So, mm -hmm. Well, with the price of fuel, any, any unnecessary travel with one of those big trucks, Terry, would certainly behoove that. But if you're able to do that all yourself, that's going to be a good cost saving. Take yes. less time away from the truck. You'll have more access, more, more yep. usable time, stuff like that. You know, and a lot of these items that are that are going out or going bad are sensors and stuff like that, and it'll tell us which one it is, tells us where it's located on the engine, or on the in the dash, and then uh, we just go purchase it from the dealer and then we install it. Mm -hmm. So, and if it needs to be programmed, we can do it with this this computer. So, gentlemen, um, what are your wishes? Mr. Chair, I would move to approve the purchase of the uh, computer for the uh, Highway Department truck. Do we have a second? As, as requested by our Highway Superintendent. Okay. Got a motion. Is there a second? I'll second. Got a motion and a second to purchase laptop software for truck and equipment diagnostics. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. Commissioner Gibbon? Yes. Commissioner Schmidt? Yes. Commissioner Aarons? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Terry. Mr. Rombo, proof of lease modification for uh, alfalfa grounds. Good morning, commissioners. So just uh, pretty simple. We uh, have the 12 acres of alfalfa ground at the Lennox 4-H facility, um, and uh, it is currently being leased to the Hahn brothers. And as part of the dirt removal project that we did last summer, we had to find a place to stockpile the soil that was peeled off the top and we ended up going into that area. So I need to modify that by a full acre because we basically absorbed that back to for that pile of dirt. Um, in addition to that, I just want to plant the seed for next year. Um, depending on the success of the tractor pull that they're wanting to do out there for the uh, Lennox 4-H or July 4th, they kind of like to move it out to that field. So we might be absorbing more of that uh, acreage next year. So I kind of wouldn't mind looking at the, the approaching the Han brothers and saying maybe uh, you could hay it next year, but not 
uh, basically ask them to to uh, pay us so they could get some benefit from it, but we could have more flexibility on the use of it. The, the current lease gives me quite a bit of flexibility um, to make the determination, but it's to be fair to the Han brothers, I don't. I want to go into the beginning of the season before they fertilize it and everything, and then we turn around and disrupt it. Okay. So what exactly are you asking for? So f for sure I have to modify the lease to 11 acres from the current 12. Um, they, they, we've already made the modification, so they paid for 11 acres because that was already done prior to the growing season. Um, so I want that officially modified. And then whether I, we, I come back to approach you again next year about an additional modification or we just go ahead and uh, uh, give them notice that we will uh, pull, the, pull them out of the lease for starting next season, the 23 season. We have a motion to that extent, gentlemen. Can you, may I please ask a question? Yes. Sir? Okay. Is this for, the, so we need to subtract an acre for 22 and 23? Correct. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay, so it's 11 acres then, basically. Yes. At, at one, uh, $100 and two cents? At an, an acre, yes. Yes. <laughs> Not two cents. <laughs> <laughs> I'll so move. I'll second. Got a motion and second to modify the agreement. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, clerk will call a roll. Commissioner Gibbon? Yes. Commissioner Schmidt? Yes. Commissioner Ahrens? Yes. Thank you. Uh, next agenda item. Sean, do you want to introduce that? Yes, sir. Uh, so April 12th, 2022, we chose American Engineering Testing from three proposals to complete the uh, necessary testing and sampling for this year's uh, AIP grant and now we have the agreement for that work um, this is covered under the already approved and applied for AIP grant 3460078020 um, the requested action is to approve and authorize the chair to execute the proposal for geotechnical services for the Lincoln County GA apron reconstruction project for the Marski Lincoln County Airport not to exceed $8,360 from American Engineering Testing. We have a motion to that extent. I also move. Second. We got a motion and second to approve an authorized chair to execute proposal for geotechnical services. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. Commissioner Gibbon? Yes. Commissioner Schmidt? Yes. Commissioner Aarons? Yes. Okay, thank you, Sean. Yes, sir. Uh, board action to declare surplus three tax deed parcels from our auditor. Yep, we've got um, three tax deed parcels that are in Hudson. Um, Carter's going to pull them up here on the overhead. But we need to do the three things. We need to declare and remove them from surplus, appoint three landowners to appraise them, and then authorize the auditor to advertise for bids. Can you pull up the GIS map? So it's all three of those parcels that are right there together. The one that he's highlighted on and the two next to it, I believe. Sherry, who's maintaining them right now? Do we go down and 
are they covered with weeds or all kinds of underbrush? Or? I don't know that we maintain them. Oh, so they And just, a lot of our tax deed parcels, I don't think we maintain them. Okay, so it's just, they're I'm there, vacant. Mm-hmm. Wildlife refuge. So, and these became tax deed parcels because the <laughs> owner didn't pay the property tax on them? Yep. Okay. Yep. And then we take them over here through this action, and then what happens next? So we have possession of them, and then we can surplus them and sell them. Okay. So we've got the, I think the quick claim is attached to the agenda that we processed on it. How much, how much land are we, are, much of Hudson are we talking about? Uh, lots, I mean, we got, how much? I think you could probably get, I mean, if you look at that, you could, there's two lots next to it. I mean, it's three lots total. Okay. Of various sizes, so that's yeah. why. You know, the goofy part about it is their commissioner is to the north. There's no through street there. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're kind of. That's locked. Yeah. Okay, we gentlemen. Need, we need um, three. Paul, would your brother consider doing that? Okay, so let's do the declare of surplus and remove it from inventory first for the three parcels. I'll so move to declare it surplus, Mr. Chair. Is there a second? I'll second it. I've got a motion and second to declare the said parcels as surplus. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. Commissioner Gibbon? Yes. Commissioner Schmidt? Yes. Commissioner Ahrens? Yes. The next action we need to take is to appoint an appraisal committee for said parcels. Are there any volunteers? Well, it's my district, so I'll volunteer. When does this need to be done by Sherry? I would like to do the advertisement um, to be read at or to be due at 10 a.m. So then the briefing form or the appraisal forms would need to be in the office by 5 p.m. on July 7th. Well, five, I got I got to go p.m. When? July 7th. July 7th. I got to go down to my mother-in-law's house, so uh, put me on there. Okay. I and since these two, I'll go down. And uh, you've got it made. Well, Is that? Uh, do we have to wait a minute? Do we have to publish that if three of us uh, are? You won't down go there? down there together, no. will you? Pardon? You won't go down there no. together, will no. you? No, I don't think that's what he was suggesting. Oh. <laughs> no, I, I mean, Jim, if you want to go to my mother-in-law's house, we can. <laughs> <laughs> are you in good standing? That's what I'm worried yeah. about. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> We won't throw you under the bus too bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, is there a motion to appoint uh, Aaron Schmidt and Jibben to the appraisal committee? I'll so move. Second. Yeah, motion and second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. Commissioner Jibben? Yes. Commissioner Schmidt? Yes. Commissioner Aarons? Yes. Okay. The third action is we need to authorize a request for sealed bids for the said parcels to occur on the said date and time. Uh, as the uh, documents state in your packet. Is there a motion to that extent? So moved, Mr. Chair. Second. Got a motion and second to authorize request for sealed bids. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. Commissioner Gibbon? Yes. Commissioner Schmidt? Yes. Commissioner Aarons? Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, next issue, request for exception to hiring policy, and I am going to ask for an executive session uh, under SDCL 1-25-2 sub 1. Is there a motion to that extent? Yes, I'll make that motion. Second. Got a motion and second to go into executive session. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. Commissioner Gibbon? Yes. Commissioner Schmidt? Yes. Commissioner Aarons? Yes. Before you guys go in there, I'm trying to get something scheduled. Um, the meeting that we were going to have to go over to look at the bank building, are you guys still on board for that? Yes. Can, you, can we do it before? I'm trying to get out of it. I'm trying to get him to come down earlier. Okay. So that's where I'm, that's where I'm at right now. Yeah. You, uh, yeah. 
appraisal form. But you'd be willing to wait a little bit for him to drive down here. A little bit, yeah. That's okay. I'm not quite Talk sure slow. if I know where no. that property is. <laughs>